Good day all of you. In this class, we will see the input and output impedances of voltage series feedback amplifier. block diagram. So this is the block diagram of voltage series feedback amplifier. Okay, so now to find the input and output impedances of voltage series feedback amplifier, you need to draw the Thevenin's equivalent circuit of the amplifier. Okay, so here I'll draw the evidence equivalent circuit. So this is the Thevenin's equivalent circuit of your voltage series feedback amplifier. See here, up to this part, this part, is, this is nothing but uh, the diagram of voltage amplifier. The dotted portion is the voltage amplifier diagram. And then after adding all these feedback things and sampling component, it becomes the Thevenin's equivalent circuit for voltage series feedback amplifier. Okay, so now, yes, see, uh, the in, yes, in the input side, we are mixing VF. So that is the reason we are taking the voltage here, uh, VF. So let me indicate uh, the symbol like this, uh, minus plus like this, okay. So now we will see how the feedback affects the input and output impedances of your voltage amplifier. Okay, so let me derive first the input resistance. Okay, yes. What is actually RA? RA is the input resistance for voltage amplifier. Now what happens? The input resistance of total voltage series feedback amplifier. Okay, so for that, now uh, write the KVL here. Totally KVL. So let us start from the second terminal. So Vs, so plus Vs. Okay, and the second here is this is plus and this is minus. So minus II, RI, or you can write it as VI. Yes, next. Minus Vf is equal to 0. So it implies Vs is equal to Ii Ri plus what is Vf? Beta Vf. Okay. So now from output side you write what is Vf? So what is this? This is input KVL. Okay. So from output, yes, you can write V0 as, yeah. Output, if you see the output circuit, it consists of a dependent voltage source. Now this gets divided into two parts because it is connected with two resistors. So there exists voltage division concept. So what is the voltage across RL? Total voltage, that is AVVI into 
that particular resistance RL divided by total resistance RL plus R0. Yes, we know for the voltage amplifier, yes, R0 is far less than RL for voltage amplifier, for voltage amplifier. Therefore, what is V0? Yes, as R0 is less than RL, you can neglect it and then you can cancel it. So, V0 equal to AVVI. Okay, now substitute this AVVI into this. So, you will get... Yes, Vs is equal to IIRI plus beta AB Vi. Okay, then it is IIRI plus, you can write uh, Vi also IIRI. So, it is take IIRI common. So, it is 1 plus AB beta. Okay, then, yes, uh, yes from this, Yes, see here, this is the resistance of your voltage amplifier. Now, after feedback, what will happen? Yes, this becomes the feedback resistance RIF. RIF. So, what is RIF? Yes, Vs by, because you are including the total, so Vs by the current IR. Okay, so now here see this, RIF is Vs by II, that is RIF 1 plus AV. Da. Okay, so this is your input resistance. Okay, so what is happening? Yes, this is RI is the input resistance of the voltage amplifier without feedback. Now RIF becomes RI into 1 plus AV beta means the input impedance increases by a factor 1 plus AV beta. We know 1 plus AV beta is called desensitivity. Okay, so you are you have to uh, say that RIF is equal to RA into desensitivity. Okay. So now, yes, now find the uh, output impedance. Yes, let me find the output impedance. Yes. Remember, to find the output impedance means the impedance at the output side separately. Output must not be affected by input. That is the reason whenever you have a voltage source at the input side by finding output impedance, you have to make it short. So, make it short. Simply short it. And then you have to disconnect RL. So, just disconnect your RL. Is take these terminals. Yes, let us assume you have a voltage. Yes, I'll remove these dot lines, dotted lines. Yes, assume that the voltage here is V and the current flowing from this node is I. Okay, so now there exists the resistance. Output resistance, yes, this is R0, but here you must, you can find R0F, where R0F is V by I. Why are taking uh, a V here? Because we generally take RL across is the output voltage, but as you are disconnecting RL, assume that there is a voltage V and there is a current I. Okay, so now the output impedance with feedback now is V by I. So, after RL, if you find, it becomes R0F dash, that is R0F in parallel with RL. Okay. So, now, uh, let me find the output impedance. Okay. So, now, see here, as I is coming like this, yes, the terminals are like this, plus, minus, and V is like this, plus, minus. To find the output impedance, first you write KVL in the output circuit. So, from output KVL. Okay. So, just you write, say start from this, the second point, AVVI, second terminal, AVVI. And here the second is plus. So, plus IR0. Okay. Then the last one. Minus V is equal to 0. 
Therefore, I is equal to V minus A B V I by R naught. Okay. So now you must remove this V R. So first go to the input circuit. In the input circuit, we shorted V R. So we have only two voltages, V I and V R. So from input. Vi plus Vf is equal to 0. See here. Here, Vs is equal to Vi plus Vf. But as Vs is 0, Vi plus Vf is equal to 0. So, implies your Vi is equal to minus Vf. What is minus Vf? Minus beta V0 actually. But instead of V0, you must take V. Okay. So, now substitute this here. Substitute this here. So, I will get I is equal to V. This minus this minus becomes plus A V beta V by R naught. Okay. Fine. So, implies I is equal to take V common V of 1 plus A V beta by R naught. So, what is R not F? R not F formula is V by I. So, V by I. So, V by I it becomes R not by 1 plus A V beta. Okay. So, this is your R not F. Fine. So, what is R not actually? R not is the output resistance or impedance of your voltage amplifier. But when it is connected with this type of feedback, it becomes voltage series. For that voltage series feedback amplifier, the resistance is R0 by 1 plus AV beta. Means, it is decreased by a factor 1 plus AV beta. Actually, it has a resistance of R0. But whenever you include the negative feedback in this fashion, yes, what happens to the output resistance? The output resistance decreased by a factor 1 plus AV beta. And we know 1 plus AV beta is called D sensitivity. So, you must write R naught F as R naught by D. And what is R naught F dash? If you want to find R naught F dash, you can find just R naught F in parallel with R n. Okay. So, these are your R I F and R naught F. Okay. So, if you see the input resistance is increased by a factor 1 plus AV beta and the output resistance is decreased by a factor 1 plus AV beta for a voltage series feedback amplifier. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe.